right, so uh, let's watch this and also the LB. Uh, I think Viacom is the best here, but LB is good too. This has gone to the first target though. BBY could very well work. It's just in an iffy spot here. Um, so not going to watch that. <coughs> Excuse me. WMT is definitely higher. It really looks great. I really felt very strong that would gap up. Cisco, I didn't know, gapped up. Not going to do anything with this here. Uh, market, again, pulled back this week sloppy. Today we could rally. Um, we might get a big rally today into, into tomorrow. I don't know. I don't think we'll make a new high today. If we are going to make a new high, we might do it Friday, which I expected to be the most uh, momentous day of the week. So remember I said this, that this buy could pull down to that 255? That's where, that's where we pulled down to. Where did Target go? Woo! Target went and was sloppy in the afternoon. Yeah, the best time to trade is in the morning. I'm at 21, not $12, Koala Bear. Hopefully common sense would tell you not $12. But this is at 22. It's very spready though. So LB's in the middle, um, but this is very spready. And actually, I just don't know about this here. RH is in an uptrend. Actually, this is gapping up today. RH looks great. RH Tiffany's. Any other high end retailers? Luxury goods? <laughs> Neva Marcus, is that a public company? It's either in a group of a company or it's not public. I don't know. I'd have to Google it. It's not on its own though, that much I know. So I don't know what group it's in. Neva Marcus is not on its own. It's either with a group or it's not a public company. I actually don't even know that. I think it's privately owned though. I don't think it is a public company. If it is, it's with a group. If anybody knows, if not, I'll research it online. Okay, LB is an open and this is going, so let's just be very, very careful here. 22, 21. Look, this isn't even open. Look, this isn't even open. Okay, I, I'm not off this yet, just wait. VIAB, let it rally. 2267 and and this is getting tighter in here so that's better anyways <clears throat> okay Viacom if we do this stops gonna be 80 and it's not gonna be a small stop Twenty by eighty Viacom if it hits. And actually, I don't want to see this go up to twenty three. Actually, it's going to have to be ninety now. It's going to be twenty by ninety. Twenty by ninety Viacom if it hits.
20 by 90 Viacom, if it hits, is valid. An LB does not look like it's moving. I'm just pushing, I'm just taking this off. Okay, that, that call is off. Just keep, I'm just watching it here. by 90 Viacom. Here, Viacom if you want it. You can you can take it in here if you want it. Get the stop in 90. Here, here, here. Jeez. And I took it a little bit before, but I felt like it was going to break. So don't worry about where you got filled. It's got to break through the low. Just be in and make sure you get the stop in. Back well, we have to watch 22. We, had, we do have to watch 22. We do have to watch 22. In fact, I wonder if we should put this stop up more. Let's just put this stop at 95. I don't think it's going to make a difference. Put this stop at 95 for Viacom if you're in it. And if you're not, I'll call it again. That broke really fast. Didn't break the low, though. 25. didn't break the low and it was right down there. I guess we're going to find out. Stops 95 for me for Viacom and it looked great. And then all of a sudden, this is a little wild. So stop at 95 if you're in it. If you didn't do it, do it, do it at 39 if it hits it again. Put the stop at 95 and it should crash to the low. But, it, you know, I'm just waiting here. You can take it if you didn't do it. 39. I thought it was going to go right there, though. 39 by 95. Here, Viacom, here. Here, this is moving very crazy. I'm not giving this a lot of time to get through the low here, though. And I can't really look at what the market's doing. Here, here. 934, here. Da, 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 da. That was wild. 2150 could happen here. Da, 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 da. Man, this is jumpy today. 2113. What the heck is this jumpy today? Jeez. Come on. This came down, broke the line, and get out of any there. Man, this is really jumpy today. And I don't really have an explanation because it's a good gap. Uh, volume isn't insane. I think any break through the low, we just scalp out of this. It's really jumpy. <clears throat> okay, that didn't do anything. In fact, did anyone get out of that down in there? I think this goes. It is working. It's just, it's pushing down and then jumping back, pushing down, jumping back. I don't like that. I want to see a nice free flowing movement down. Oh, big fudge got out. Man, you were quick today. Got to hang in with it now. Barry got out too, man. Wow, some of you got it, got out of it. All right, you could do it again. 39, again, 95. One more break for this, I'm going to get out of it just because it's too jumpy. It's, it's good. Um, 
and then we'll look and see if there's any longs. This is gonna go. It's just very, very jumpy. It's been a long time since we've traded that. Walmart's gonna go. What did Cisco do? Cisco, I don't know. Walmart looks like it's gonna go to 100 today. That looks very, very good. Here, let's not let this get away from this now. I just wanna have a solid day in here. It's just too jumpy, but do whatever you want. $21 is not crazy. I just, this is, we've been up, then it pushes back, up, pushes back. I just wanna get a nice drop through, done. And Walmart looks really good, long. And I thought about going long today, but you know, there was some good shorts and here we go. Here, da 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 da. So we're gonna watch 2213 Viacom. Nice rubber band forming. Oh, come on. Here's Walmart. Walmart's gonna go. You can go long Walmart and put the stop under the low if you if you want to do it. It's better than Cisco even, cause just because of the target. And this, I'm waiting still. And Walmart is going to go. Gosh darn it, this looks so tempting. Market is not looking as good as it could in the spy. Yeah, I thought it was going to go down and break. This has to get going. This is very sloppy. I tell you here, I am going to go long Walmart just to get in something else here in case we stop on the Viacom right here. It's a big stop. Stop is 94.50 if you want to go long Walmart. It's a little bit more than a buck. 94.50 long Walmart if you want it. Sorry, people. Just have to get into things because I don't know if this is going to hold and Walmart's going to go. Do it if you want it. It's a little bit more than a buck. It's late on Walmart. Long Walmart and short Viacom. I don't normally do this, but I'm telling you right now, I don't know if Viacom holds and it's very, very sloppy. And even if I get out of this with profit, it's not going to be something crazy. And Walmart will hold the low. Stops 94.50 if you want to do the Walmart. If you want to wait for it to pull back, fine. I'm in two things here now. This is a little bit hard of a day to follow me here. Walmart, let it run up. 98 is the first target on Walmart. And Viacom is holding on, but I don't like the way that it is just too whippy here today. I just don't like this. Here, Walmart's gonna go. Just let Walmart fly to the sky. Here, Walmart's going. Um, do, 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 do. Come on, Viacom. Just let, let Walmart rally. It's going to go up to 90, 96, 97, 98, $100 a day in Walmart. It's Viacom. Tell you what, I'm moving the stop down in Viacom to 75. I'm not taking a full hit in this. 75 if it holds for Viacom, and I'm in the Walmart too long. So 75 is do or die for Viacom. I'm not giving it 95. I'm in long Walmart. That's really an all-day hold even so I wasn't really worried about the price in it and Viacom could still go into work but if it goes over 75 I'm out missed missed getting out of that twice it's way too jumpy 
All right, let's just review. Walmart, a minute, stops 94.50. It's a long. Viacom has been extremely jumpy. Some people got out with profit. I moved the stop way down, giving it no room at all. 75 is a stop for Viacom. That's a short. And if this goes anywhere down where I can make anything at all here, Viacom, I'm just getting the heck out. Here. Da, 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 da. Here, we might get lucky here in Viacom because I have no more patience on this. And Walmart's just going to go. Here, come on, Viacom. Go. Here. Okay, here, Viacom, we might get lucky on this. Anything I'm up in this, I'm going to get out. Maybe I'll just kill it. That day I'm going to kill a Viacom if it goes over 60. In fact, I'm just going to lower the stop to 60. I'm lowering the stop to 60 in Viacom. It should not rally over 60 again. So Viacom, I just moved the stop down to 60. I'm not letting that rally over 60 one more time. I'll take a small loss in that, and I'm going to let Walmart play out. Here, I'm, like, here, I'm out. I'm out of Viacom. Do whatever you want. Screwy thing. All right, here. Do whatever you want. If you want to play through the Viacom, I have no more patience in this at all. This is going to run up. This should be way more than enough for us to do something today. Partial loss, small loss in the Viacom, not going to worry about it. It was way too whippy. If we can get more of this Walmart, fine. But actually, the stop in this isn't bad for the stock price. Just let it run up. This should just go to the moon and back with the market. So that Viacom was a good gap. It, we were up at it twice, and it bounced, and it bounced, and it bounced, and it's very unusual for me to keep lowering the stop. In fact, I don't think I've done that all year. Just screw it. Here, Walmart. BBY is going. I'm not doing anything else. It was a very, very um, aggressive morning here for me, or busy. Um, this was really crappy. Absolutely crap Ola for the setup or anything, and the gap wasn't that good. But if you did it, you're up. I kind of thought that might work, but I didn't know what time. Here, Walmart. Let's see if we get Walmart up to 97 something, 98. So we're going to have a good day. It's just I didn't have any more patience with this. Oh, my lanty. Ah. Ugh. Yeah, here. What a screwy trading day for that stock. Here, Walmart, focus, focus. BBY is gone. And I'm not doing anything else. And this is working. This is a huge target today. Follow it through. Whenever I say just take it, even if the entry's late, which I said yesterday on Target and this too, it's 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 good. Viacom, unfortunately, I did not get out of this twi that twice down today when it dropped. I mean, I don't know how any person would have been able to do that, but some of you did. If Walmart pulls back and gives another setup, I'll call another entry. I'm actually now in a long, which probably is going to make my day, which is very, very weird, but the market's strong. Cisco is not as good as Walmart. This was very sloppy too. BBY was a crappy gap, but it was the only thing that really dropped. Big pushback, set up. The stop in this was huge. I don't think I would have done this. Big stop. Dollar, it did move. It moved more than one R. So in the Walmart long, really glad I tightened up that Viacom. It's so rare that I do that. Something told me it's not right, it's not right, it's not right, it's not right. This here, this hole in here, the bounce in here, this in here, we'll go over that when we're done. All right, what are we doing with our lives? Here, Walmart is rallying. Walmart should just go in the 15 minute all the way up to 10 o'clock. A dollar plus. Walmart, nice call here for me to flip right over. Seeing that Viacom wasn't working out right. We have to make money every day this week. Next week's the holiday. There was lots of stuff to do. I thought about doing Walmart this morning, but then I'm like, oh gosh, there is good shorts. I prefer to short. This it could drop fast. Unfortunately, Viacom went to the target in the pre-market. Could have kept going, didn't do it. Didn't do it, and then it was really sloppy. The bounce in that to see yourself up, and then it pushed back. I hate that. Here, Walmart over 96. You didn't lower your stop on Viacom, Journey Woman? 
All right, well, I'm telling you what I'm doing every second. Every second that I'm breathing. Vincent's out of Viacom and Walmart. Good. Listen, sorry I changed gears quick this morning, but this is what it is. It was a good decision, though. Here, Walmart over 96. If it sets up again, Journey Women, I'll call it. If BBY sets up as a short, you can do it. But I think it's just going to collapse now all the way down to 53, 50, 53. That was a shame. Waste of a good earnings play, but not a good gap. That's, you know, just too bad for that thing. And this is starting to lift, but again, doesn't have as big of a target as Walmartia. Okay, here. Oh, you did lower the stop? Okay, good. Oh, you people that made money in that Viacom that got out, you were lucky. All right, let's take a look at this chart. So, didn't get quite up to 96, 95, 98. Time of the day is 947. Open 95, 12. Lows 94, 72. This will not break the load today, so that much I know. Um, let's just look here at this. Yeah. So, 96 is the next number. Plow through it, and we'll just take it out wherever it flurries up. In fact, let's look at target today. Target pushback with the Walmart, probably. What were the other longs um, besides Cisco? What were the other shorts? Here, Walmart! Yeah. Man, I'm taking no prisoners this week. Uh, what were the other shorts? AXGN was too thin. There wasn't a lot today, really, to the short side. I'm not sure we would have got much of a better stop in here. Maybe a little bit, but I'm not sure how aggressive I would have been in this here, to be honest with you, in the beginning part of the day for the Walmart. If this pulls back, I'm staying with the train. You could piecemeal out of some in there. You could have grabbed some out with a profit or just take it out if you want. You should be positive if you lowered the stop in the Viacom. I'm sticking with it. If it pulls back, we'll add, pull the stop up. And swing it on around again. Gonna be a little patient now today because Viacom didn't work out exactly as I wanted to, but save myself. Very happy about that. Let's just talk about this now because Walmart's gonna do whatever it's gonna do. That that stock will hold all day. So, anyways, here you have this. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this held. This looked great. Actually, we're starting to get good here with the profit. The bounce back was horrendous. This looks fine, this looks fine, this I don't like. Lower the stop twice in this. That's a telltale sign, should have just killed the trade, but by the time I thought of doing it, it really wasn't up by that point anyways. So, happy saved us in this. Shouldn't have gone over 23, actually did not go over 23, but this unfortunately will not go red today. It will be green today, and it will just be very, very sloppy. Can't go long this. The short worked here if you got out, but you know, only a couple people did. Anyways, it's unfortunate. It's just down so much now, as you can see. It's got nothing left. I wasn't worried about that today. I wasn't worried about that at all. But then when it went to the target in the pre-market, I was slightly aware of that. And so then I thought, well, let's watch LB. And then the open here was so late. So late. And just said, screw it. Walmart really was the best gap today. I just preferred to short, but this was an amazing gap, and I had a feeling it would gap up. I'm not sure how aggressive it would have been. I might have waited for the confirmation still because it was a big gap up, but it really is not going to break the low. Koala Bear got out of half a WMT. Very good. If this sets up again, Journey Women, I'll call it. Stop's going to be a buck, or it could be a little bit more, which is still a very good stop for this chart. So the market should hold here in the queues. The SPY should hold the support. I don't know why it's coming in like a little bit of a baby here. I really don't know. Um, 
why this isn't going as well as this right here because it's really not and the cues are i mean i can't even believe we might make a new high in the cues but we can't do that without this going so that doesn't make any sense spy has got to get going here by 10 o'clock over the high of the day today which the number is 257.85 and surprisingly wmt looks really good compared to the spy cisco what was the stop in the Cisco? Yeah, I mean, Walmart just has so much more potential. Walmart's a better gap, has bigger move potential, better risk to reward, and looks like this is gonna try to set up again. So for those of you that didn't get it. Good job, those of you that got out of the Viacom with profit. And it wasn't that I don't have enough coffee, although I'd like to have some more right now. Um, I really didn't think 22 was insane. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not pulling the stop up on this right here. But if you didn't, if you didn't do it, if you did not, you could do 80, but you got to put the stop at the original place. 95, 80, 94, 50. It's, you know, again, it's not small, but it's a play and it should follow through. I'm not going to move my stop here because I know the low of the day in Walmart will hold for the entire day. So I feel very confident about that. But if you want to go long here, 95.80, you got to put the stop at 94.50, buck 30. Here it goes. And let me look up. I don't know if Neiman Marcus is publicly a public company. I really don't know that. And I would like